Hey everyone, my name is Arman and today we are going to look at what is polymesh. So, let's start. Polymer's primary mission is to help us build custom elements. As you know, HTML provides built-in elements like button, form, table. Each of these elements has its own API of attributes, properties, methods and events. Each element has a built-in styling and you can overwrite these using custom CSS. Anyone can use these elements to build a simple web page, but they are limited. To build something as simple as a set of tabs, you need HTML plus CSS and usually a script too. So, actually, HTML gives us an excellent tool for structuring a document, but its vocabulary is limited to elements the HTML standard defines. Also, today, web apps like expression. Have a look at the so-called modern Gmail web app. The only thing you will see is a div soup. And unfortunately, today this is the way we build web apps. Now is the time for a big change. We should shape the future of building web apps in a more futuristic way. What if the markup of Gmail was beautiful? Have a look. The HTML looks clean, it makes sense and it is easy to understand. The Polymer library is designed to make it easier and faster for developers to create reusable components for the modern web. With custom elements you can extend the vocabulary of HTML with your own elements. Elements that provide sophisticated user interface. Now you will say, wait, what? I talked about reusable components and then I was mentioning custom elements. Which one is Polymer? Polymer is neither of those things. Polymer is built on top of the web component standards and it helps you to build your own custom elements. And in the next lecture we will have a look at these three in detail. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lecture.